You have lost your apples. But I have. Oh, a devilish wind took me over, and I worry for them. But I've saved the finest and the juiciest. Oh, these apples explode in your mouth with the iridescent light of Jesus. What makes them special? An apple is an apple, no? Oh, I beg to differ, my friend. You see, every year we make the pilgrimage to the west. Hammer's farm. Farmer Hammer to the west. Yes, we call him the Hammer, and his apples are fine. Have this sweet iron tinge in them. My friends have already made it back. They are surely feasting already, but I fell on some misfortune. The cart busted. Oh, the apple cart hath fallen! These apples must be eaten. They're too juicy to be left to rot. Oh, eternal thanks for carrying the crate. I would be happy to share in the bounty of these apples with you, once we meet up with your friend. Oh, surely. You will share the Lord's work with you. The iron tinge, you will taste it. We all have earned it after fasting. Fasting? Is that when you lack food for your God? Yes, we show our devotion. Remove dist... to the fruits of our Creator's work. Sharing an apple with a friend is the most sublime experience. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it is nice to sometimes sit back and simply enjoy an apple. Oh, with our fortune always changing in life, it's important to enjoy simple pleasures. So excited for you to see my friend and eat apples with us. <laughs> the act of walking, the pilgrimage we're going on. We will prostrate ourselves for Guthlak at the end of this glorious pilgrimage, drown in his reward. Here we are, our tiny sanctuary. Join in prayer for the apples if you like. We bomb. Bomb. Is the only way to piously reap the reward of our Holy Father. Praise be to 